this channel. No! No! Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to our channel. So, different video today. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> Let's do a reaction video to some accidents and things like that. Now listen, I'm not an expert. I don't consider myself an expert writer, but I have been writing since I was 15. So that's 14 years of experience, of my own experience. So I'm trying to give my reaction, my maybe tips or whatever it is I may throw out there. But listen, everyone's experiences are different. Everyone handles different, let's see, incidents differently. And we're just going to see what I think about these, okay? So, let's go. <laughs> Y'all need this favor, okay? Because he will be tripping in Alright. Guys, getting on the freeway. What is Brazil? I don't know. I think they're traveling with us. Okay. <laughs> okay, so right off the bat, like, you saw him merging over. Right, so I would have just slowed down just because um, clearly he wasn't looking or instead of braking, I would have just, you know, tried to squeeze on the side. That would have been my only thing. So yeah, yeah. Once, at least for me, when I see cars merging over or merging into a lane or merging into an arm ramp or something, I'm always, rever not reversing, slowing down and at least finding a gap. That way, they do come over and they're either in front or behind me and never on the side of me. So never merge next to anybody. That's that's my little tip right there. Ooh, the mirror's broke. Let me pause, street sweeper. Yeah, here it is in slow-mo. Yeah, that rider, first of all, you shouldn't merge without looking. Never. Alright, next video. Hold on. Oh, wait. Let's go back. I missed everything. Let's, let's try this again. know what happened maybe he panicked he felt like he was coming in too hot or was staring off into something I, I don't know I <laughs> curves man like <laughs> oh look his friend did it too okay yeah his friend crashed okay we'll, we'll go past that right in the group when something like this always be single try not to go in on somebody okay yeah hit apparently his skills was nowhere near um for a group ride for one or for this type of environment so make sure you guys ride to your ability and if you are in a group be in the back that way you know you don't take out half the other group but definitely go slow go i mean go really slow like if you are uncomfortable go as slow as you need because you can just tell he was so unsure. And if you're that unsure, just pull over or have someone, you know, come talk to you, compose yourself. But don't try to ride and you're completely freaked out, okay? Because riding tense is not good. You're not able to, like, move with the bike. You're fighting the bike. Especially going down turns and stuff like that. Like, you have to be really loose and relaxed. Okay, so next video. Sir, okay, this is just from simply not paying attention. I mean, he didn't see the lady in the crosswalk, so he didn't see the car, he didn't anticipate the car stopping. So, yeah, just check the crosswalks like anticipate that's a lot of things about motorcycles. Anticipate, and by the time you look and look back, yeah, then he can do about that one. 
Ooh. <laughs> I don't know why I ducked, but okay, listen. Since we lane split here, right? My first reaction is really never to break. Yes, I may slow down. But my first reaction is always to try to fit through whatever. Like if I'm not paying attention, I need to I'm gonna I'm about to run into the back of a car. I'm just gonna split it. That's it, because I can't there's no it's not enough time to break, honestly. So with this, once you would have noticed, uh I would try to avoid the object versus um trying to break in this in this particular sense because there was no one coming on the other side. I don't know if he already knew that or not, but I would have tried my chances uh, squeezing through the side. Are you alright? Mm. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. <laughs> he <laughs> he wasn't paying attention at all. Like we can see that. Yeah, my fault. Oh. So definitely, yeah, he knew it was him. <laughs> it got me attention. You know, those bright red lights that come on the back of cars, you know, they mean something. And he was just in his zone. As you can tell, he, he never got off the throttle. Yeah, so like I said, position yourself so you're not directly behind the car. That way you can kind of just squeeze out the back side of it. But. Uh, gotta pay attention, okay? All right, and yeah, just pay attention. Here's another group right? Oh. Oh, does he say, uh, What just happened? Let me go back. Okay, so it looks like you have a club. Oh, okay, okay, I see what happened. Okay, so here in Cali, we have this thing called, well, I know it's everywhere else, but we have the black set, we have a black bike set. We have one percenters, okay? You don't pass one percenters. You ask for permission, and it's up to them to allow you to pass them or not. So with this, I, I'm not sure if it's a one percenter or not. I couldn't tell, it's kind of blurry. But you really don't come through groups like that. Try as possible to... That's my dad. Um, if you can, try to go around, you know, off to the side. Don't split through a group. That's just asking for trouble. I'm not saying it's right, but I've seen it done. Like, a 1% club will show you who's boss on the road, okay? That's all I'm going to say about that. At least the cops are there, though. And he saved it because I probably would have went down. Because <laughs> you can't tell it's in that grass. He had all his gear on, so yeah. Don't show up and show out in front of a one percenter or any club like that. Oh god, here's another trail. He's doing about forty. <laughs> She's like break before the turn and accelerate out and you go from in to out so it's like uh, don't start yeah this Oh God, I knew it, I knew it. 
<laughs> okay, so when it looked like the road got lumpy, and that happens a lot, especially in residential areas. Let me go back. But yeah. I think he just panicked, really, because he got stiff. Everything was tight. So, once you see those lumps in the road, he never set himself up to lean it hard. He would have to really throw his body over there. But, even then, I think his approach was a little off. Like, he should have been more on the outside. That way he can just sweep, you know, sweep through. Because it didn't seem like he was going that fast. Or maybe he's not familiar with the area. So, yeah. If you guys are very unsure of the area, don't try to go through there smashing because you're... You don't know what's coming up and then like here clearly he wasn't prepared for that little bit of bump before the turn but yeah i would have just leaned as far <laughs> i jumped on the side of the bike okay <laughs> but yeah um just lean as far as you can and see what what happens but uh, yeah he just dumped it Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, it didn't seem like he was moving that fast. Yeah, I'm okay. I just didn't, I don't think he was ready for that bump. He didn't commit to I the... that turn too fast. Yeah. To the turn. Dude, you didn't turn at all. <laughs> oh, wait, what? Sorry, guys. The wind slammed my door and then I... That turned too fast. Yeah. I can't tell how fast he's going. Yeah. It looks like he was leaning too hard for the speed. Maybe his tires went warm or something. I don't know. But he just he just lost lost traction. Uh, it was kind of hard to tell. Don't move. Don't don't move. Don't move. There's another group ride. Oh, I missed it. What? What happened? Oh. Oh, he took himself out. I <laughs> mean. Nothing you can do on that one. Uh, pay attention. Watch where you're riding. Oh, ride where you're looking. How about that? Yeah. Um, he didn't see the island apparently. Ugh. There's a lot going on in good rides. So, hopefully his bike isn't too damaged. Ouch. I can't tell the light is red, yellow. What? <laughs> what just happened? Maybe a willy? He didn't cover his back brake? Yeah, I think that's what happened. Okay. Jeez. Stuff like it happens fast, okay? So I'm like, what? Wait. I see a bicyclist turning car. Mm -hmm. I I don't know what any of those words mean on their floor, but clearly he was going through there too fast. That's that was a given. Speed. Don't do those curves. Yeah. Speed. Slow down. I don't know. I feel like he had time, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to pay attention. Because it seemed like he alerted him in enough time, but maybe not. That was weird. What just happened? 
coming too hot for the turn and couldn't couldn't get it over there. At least he saved it. Hey, bravo to you. As we can see everybody fall down. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> see, I'm leaning over it because I'm trying to lean the bike. <laughs> squeeze through, people. Leave the brakes alone. Just I'm good. Squeeze through. Yeah. <laughs> She's checking her wagon like, oh my god. <laughs> Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. All right. Open road. What's happening? Okay, the turn's coming up. He didn't turn. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. So I don't know if he's in the zone. He know where he was going or what, but you can tell that road got real shaky. And then I guess he was coming in too hot for the turn. And once he tried to turn, he noticed that it was gravel or really broken up concrete, whatever it was, asphalt, whatever is down there. So you can't turn on that. So the only thing to do is to ride it out as best you can. But that's some really thick grass. Like hopefully it's soft in the blow, but ouch. Slow down. Slow down when you come to it. Especially perping, like right angle turns, you gotta not stop, but you know, come to a stop and make that turn. And if you miss the turn, like you come in too hot, just pass it and then come back around. Oh, yeah, I'm good. It'll save you a whole lot of heartache and money, okay? If you miss it, keep going. So, hey, hold on, hold on. Do I want to? I don't want to go down that way. He's panicked, you can tell. Which is reasonable, right? I'm scared. Yeah, I'm good. He's on 752. Mm. Yeah, see, look at all that gravel. Yeah. Especially roads like that, you gotta come, you gotta stop, you know, take your time to make those turns and everything. I wasn't going that fast by the time I got there. <laughs> I dismounted, I said, boop! <laughs> <laughs> that he was alright, jeez. It's good. It was soft. Hi! All good. He's like, been there, done that. <laughs> I would give it a minute, let your bike sit, and then try to start it. See, look, that's all gravel, yeah, yeah. There's no stopping on that, not at all. So thank you, Moto Madness, for making this compilation. But, woo, some of those made, I was like, because <laughs> I be putting myself in those shoes. Like, when I'm seeing it, I'm like, ooh, ooh, you know? But I'm glad everyone was okay, um, at least for the most part. But yeah, let me know if you guys like this style, if you like me reacting to videos, if you have another reaction. If you have another video you guys want me to react to, I got you. I'm trying this out. Um... So yeah, if you guys want to keep this going, make it a series, I'll make it better and better. Maybe a backdrop or something, you know, something like that. But I miss you guys. Yes, I've been writing. I just have not been filming. So, sorry on that. <laughs> but yeah, as always, ride safe and I'll see you in the next one.